Hey guys, RC here. Welcome back. Football Manager 21. This is our Play the Kids save, and this is episode 7. Let me lower that a little bit if I can. Uh, so anyway, we uh, today we're going to be playing Truro uh, with highlights, and then we'll be playing Pool on camera. So we'll come back for that. We'll also catch you up to date on the five matches uh, that we played since last episode when we were eliminated by Weldstone in the fa trophy so roll the intro oh birthday balloons yep happy birthday to me last week and uh yep we'll see you guys back after the intro Well, as I mentioned, we played five matches. Don't forget to hit the like button if you like what I'm doing here. Subscribe to keep up to date for daily football manager content here on the channel. And let's get into it. I'm actually anxious for this save to start progressing so we can uh, kind of get into the root desire I have for this save, which this year really can't do. I'm doing it as much as I can, but we just had a need for players this year. So, you know, getting players, staying up, that was the two biggest uh, needs and concerns. So uh, we're going to be entering the transfer window, but we had a 1-0 win against Dulwich Hamlet. Rudy Haycock with the goal there. Uh, he is our aging veteran. Uh, Yeovil, we lost 2-1. to one. Graham Williams got the goal for us there. We beat Eastley 2-1. to one. Graham Williams with a brace. And a 2-1 win over Maidstone. Williams on the score sheet again, along with Adam Rowe. And then Salisbury beat us 1-0. And Lee White was sent off in the eighth minute in this one. So we didn't do too badly. Straight red card for him. We'll have uh, Truro highlights in just a second. And then we'll play pool on camera. Taking a look at the league, uh, we are fourth in the table. 42 points from 22 matches. So almost two points per match. And I want to give a shout out to Sean Murphy, of course. Uh, he gave us the kit and logo packs for Tiverton. One of my new viewers, Geronulet T-E-W, shout out, welcome to the channel. Uh, he just been binge watched it, so I'm recording this on Saturday. So Friday, he binge watched the first uh, three episodes. Um, does three episodes count as a binge watch? We'll go with it. Uh, but anyway, a couple of tactical suggestions and ideas. Now, naturally, I'm recording episode seven now, so we did have three episodes already recorded. But uh, let's pop into the tactic and see what he is suggesting. So we currently have wingbacks. Now, these guys can actually play wingback just as good as they can play fullback, in all honesty. But he said change the center backs, and yeah, this is this is probably correct. Although, they're not much worse, but yeah, I do do that typically if they're not really good at ball playing, and a six passing and a five passing, you're probably right. So he suggested switch them to no-nonsense on defend, and the right back to a no-nonsense fullback. Uh... I don't know. We'll we'll think about that. I definitely agree changing these guys to no nonsense center backs on defend probably is the best thing to do here. So we'll do that. We'll take your suggestion there. The left back to full back. But again, he can play wing back just as well as he can play full back or no nonsense full back. So I'm going to keep those guys as wingbacks for right now, because I like wingbacks. Play with a low defensive line. Well, I could pull back and we could condense here. My concern about playing lower is it does create the ability to get more shots closer to your goal. Um, his take is, is that it'll keep him from playing the route one over their heads. Okay. And of course, he made a comment about Jack Evans being our best player. Well, 
if he's watched the other three episodes up to today, he knows that Jack Evans isn't here anymore. Uh, in fact, let's take a look at Mr. Jack Evans. And he has gone off to Barnett. And he's played 10 games, one player of the match, playing a 6.62, one level above us in the Vonorama National. Playing worse, but, you know, so anyway, uh, not with us anymore. So not an issue I've got to worry about. Also, uh, training idea. Um, because we are a semi-pro team at present time, uh, Sean Murphy pointed out <coughs> that we only practice twice a week. So unlike a professional team that practices every day or five days a week, we're only practicing two days a week. So most of our young players are going to improve in matches. So he said it is beneficial to possibly go with a midweek friendly. So I think that's a good idea. Idea. So let's arrange a couple of friendlies coming up, right? So we'll go here and we'll choose a similar reputation team. I'm not looking for I'm not looking for um profit here, right? We're just we're looking for matches. So basically they play a match and then they play a friendly match, which they will get more out of than they will just in the training sessions. So he said, play your match and then do a midweek. Uh, so we'll do that on Fridays to give us three weeks of recovery. Uh, if we play this at home, you know what? What about, is there an away match that we could do? Bath will play us 2300 to come play them there. That's cool. We'll do that. All right, we'll see how that goes. Um, and I will try to remember to do that basically at the beginning of each month. Uh, now, see, here's where I'd want to stop that because we do have two matches that week. But then maybe here we come in on Tuesday and we'll do a couple of scheduled friendlies maybe here. Let's give them a little extra recovery because then we come back in with two matches a week. So let's go with Barnstaple. All right, we'll give this a try and we'll see if that helps with our development. Just uh, thought I'd mention it in hopes that Sean is right. So guys, I'll come right back with highlights. So we're playing our 4-4-2 here. We have changed our center backs as you saw. A near post gets to Hemmings and he puts it in across the keeper to the back post. A set piece header there. Williams blazes one in, but it hits the woodwork, comes right back to him, and he gets the rebound for the goal. I actually saw that happen against Leeds earlier this year uh, in real life. Across to the back, Wilkins on the wing comes in untouched and blazes that one past the keeper, making it 3-0 Tiverton. There's a shot from the edge of the box from McGrath. And um, he beats Murphy, making it 3-1. to one. And an ode to Lelugio. Uh, We have renamed uh, Jake Dunk to Slam Dunk. Way to go, Kev. Uh, and I admit stealing that from him. Uh, they do get the rebound. Murphy with the save initially, but the rebound goes in, making it 4-2. to two. Williams gets past Bates. He's running in. Haycock was off the bench at this point. Williams with his second goal, making it 5-2, to two, and that would be the final. He also missed a penalty uh, just before halftime. So that was a good result for us there. Moves us up into second, although the other teams have not played today. But we're, pl we're doing well. Things look like they have changed for us uh, from uh, early on in the season. But now we play pool in a few days. Let's get to that kickoff. I wanted to pop back here since we're at the end of the month and the beginning of the following month. So our attacking is considered aggressive clinical and our defense is considered busy and impenetrable. So we're doing well there. Finances wise, we're down to 139,000. We did lose 41,000 this month. Uh, most of that is in staff salaries. I'm going to have to consider laying off some staff, I believe. 
uh, making do with a little worse than we have. Now, the funny thing is we're not full up. I only have one of two scouts, uh, and I would like more, but um, yeah, we just, I mean, we're nowhere near the best side here. The only people we brought in was our coaching staff, so not much I can do there. There are a few players that I think uh, in talking to Sean about that I am going to get rid of, uh, and when I do that, we'll talk about why. I'm currently getting an A-plus from the board, but they are upset about our 5-2 loss against Weston, uh, our 3-2 loss against Concord, and our... Second round defeat against Wieldstone or Weldstone. <laughs> oh, well, get over it, you know. <laughs> we're newly promoted and we're second in the table. All right, we're going to go with Murphy and goal, a back four of Bone, Hemmings, Tierney, and Sloan, Wilkins, Slam Dunk, Bissex, and White in the mid, Williams and Cook up top. We're in the yellow kits. We are playing at home today. Got a nice little turnout in the covered side here for our home fans. Nice ball dropped into Sloan, and he gives it away. Great job. I am uh, really giving some thought to not re-signing him. All right, we're building up from the back again. Here's Wilkins. Over to Bissix. He goes over the top. A flick on header. Cook controls it. And it goes in, oh, and deflected away. I think that was off of Jabrin, though, and that's going to set up a corner for us. Let me double check and make sure. Yes, all right, because I did change that to no-nonsense center back, and uh, that was done before we played out the, uh, the, the uh, match, last, the highlight match. And there is a set piece, and it's Hemmings making the run at the near post, and he puts it in, another header. And uh, that is looking really good. So two shots, one on target, and we have a 1-0 advantage. Let's encourage the team here. That puts us up into first place on goal differential, and I guess on a tiebreaker. A cut hand. I don't think we need to sub him out, let him run over and get a bandage on that thing. All right, Tierney lumps it forward. Cook is going to run onto it. He's there. Laid back, and it's Wilkins who shoots wide. Uh, let's see, White. Yeah, I mean, he's got the cut, but he's doing okay. All right, Wilkins with the interception there. He fights for it, passes it back to Sloan. White gets it up ahead to Cook. Bissix, a lot of, lot of short passing here. There's our version of Slam Dunk. I guess I ought to rename him there. You know what? Let's rename him. Because I don't want to just steal the nickname outright. Slam Dunk the second. There you go. That way we don't confuse him with being the same Slam Dunk, right? Uh, he's fine in his fitness i'm just you know he's got the cut hand and white sits on that ball a little too long and that's lumped forward well at least it didn't go over his head and we, you know we could do something with you know, a tighter marking oh that was poor Xavier Morgan, his third of the season, and that was a poor, poor job by Murphy. Oh, my goodness. All right. Let's give him the old demand more now. All right, Bernard. It's headed over. Wilkins gets it ahead, and we control it in the midfield. Williams, Bissix, Cook. He lays it off to Sloan. Sloan gets it up to White. It's into the box, headed out. Slam dunk. Might have, should have gotten a better jump on that ball. Might have, should have, could have. Oh, there's a good header out. Slam dunk gets it up to Cook. There's a nice ball into Wilkins. Tackled away. Bone is into the box. 
and it's deflected away. Hmm. Let's check our settings here. Yeah, everything's sped up. That's cool. Two minutes of stoppage time, and we go into intermission at a 1-1 draw. We need to be doing better there. We're going to go hands in the pockets. We've been the better team. Let's give him the... Oh, uh, and White is now out. All right, his hand injury must have gotten worse. Fair enough. You know who's not on the bench there? Liz Cotterell. All right, well, we're going to bring... Uh, Adam Rowe, we'll bring him over. Now we'll go give our demand more. Tierney's tired, but I don't usually sub off my center backs. All right, Grant Wilkins is tired. Do I have anybody that can come on for him? Boy, he is, he is so good, though. Yeah, I don't really have anybody else. They can only play striker. Yeah, I think we're going to have to just struggle through this, boys. There's a midfielder. And again, I don't have anybody in there. I've only got a center back. He can't head the ball. That's so funny. Six foot one, he can jump out of the stadium. You know what? He does have three star potential. Let's let's bring him on for Tierney. Let's do that. And I'm just not feeling it with any of these other guys. I'm gonna have to be a little more particular, I think, in who I've got on my bench. Demand more. Four minutes of stoppage time. 15 shots to eight. And I think we're a little hard done by losing, uh, you know, losing two points in this one. Uh, I am going to say uh, I'm far from pleased. Motivate them a little bit. Let's go ahead and finish out the day. That drops us back to fourth in the current table. We do have the friendly against Fromtown coming up. And then we will get into another stretch of games. What I want to do, I believe, uh, let's see, have we finished the day? Yes, we have. All right, so currently sitting on 46 points. We're right in the heart of the playoffs. We are 10 points ahead of Maidstone and 25 points ahead of Farnborough, Farnborough in the relegation in the drop zone. I am a little concerned about these friendlies because we still have a rather thin squad. All right. Well, let me get into it. I'm going to I'm still looking at signing players. I am going to go in and cut a couple of players. In fact, let me show you just a couple of the guys that we talked about. Uh I believe one of them was Grant Wilkins. No. Not Grant Wilkins. There he is, Haycock. So, uh, he said, unambitious, you really don't want that uh, in, in anybody. That's kind of a bad one. He hadn't played badly. I mean, he's playing a 6.95 with a goal in, you know, mostly reserve, you know, reserve minutes. So really can't complain about his performance. If I sign another striker, I may let him go. Uh, one short-term plan, he's, he's announced his retirement. My daughter has gotten her green thumb on and is out. Uh, Adam Corbett, uh, one star, uh, unambitious as well. So, you know, another guy that we could look to get rid of. But, you know, so there's a few guys in here that we talked about uh, maybe getting rid of. Uh, but then there are some guys like Lucas Frazier. I'd like to maybe start playing him more, especially in these friendlies to try to see if we can get him up to two, two and a half star over the course of the rest of this season. Um, Bailey, I think that was another guy. Oh, Fickle, yeah. And, uh, you know, now he's got good determination, but you can see he's kind of underperforming. So this is a guy that we'd like to maybe get rid of uh, and get him, just get him out of the locker room. Uh, also, I need to look at how I'm structuring my contracts. Uh, and try to see if I can, you know, play the game a little bit to, to save a little bit of money. So we will work on that here coming up. I want to get through another stretch, possibly uh, coming back uh, against Barnstaple end of the month and then playing uh, Hampton and Richmond uh, in the on-camera match uh, for next episode. And that gives us another run of games, plus we can see if these friendlies help out with our training, and we can also take a look at what the transfer window has done for us. 
So guys, hit that like button, subscribe for daily content uh, from Football Manager here on the channel, and we'll see you next episode. Have a good one. Bye.